the real reason why you attract haters, stamping out imposter syndrome. Here's the real reason you are attracting haters, how to reduce the amount of negative comments you are getting and how to stop caring what other people think of you. If you've ever put yourself out there as a creator or an entrepreneur trying to help people, no doubt you've had your fair share of haters or negative comments. This can feel really hurtful and actually prevents a lot of people from ever starting a business or sharing their message with the world. So why do we get these hateful comments? And is there anything that we can do to prevent them? A lot of people will tell you that these hateful comments are nothing whatsoever to do with you, that these haters have problems, they are jealous of you and you should feel sorry for your haters because they're obviously leading very miserable lives to inflict their misery on other people. And while all of this is true, this is not actually the real reason why you are attracting haters. Today you will discover the true reason why you are attracting haters, what you can do to prevent yourself attracting haters, how to stop caring what other people think about you, how to rise high above imposter syndrome, how to actually be grateful for negative comments and how to respond best to negative comments. So let's get down to it. Here's the real reason why you attract haters and you're probably not going to like this, but it is going to help you. So the real reason you're attracting haters is because the haters are mirroring back hatred that you have for yourself that you have repressed. So the reason haters are picking up on your energy is because we all have a particular energy that we project out into the world which has been proven by science and this energy can be felt over the other side of the world and through the internet and all of us have aspects of our personality that we don't like and that is human nature and we can't avoid this. We have positives and negative aspects of our personalities or at the very least we decide ourselves that the aspects of our personalities are positive or negative but everybody would disagree on these things. When we repress parts of our personalities that we want to hide, that is called our shadow. And whatever shadow parts of our personalities are hidden, these gain power and energy and can be felt by other people. So when we have hatred for ourselves and we push this away and we pretend it's not there, it will come out in the form of hatred from someone else. And that's why people with low self-worth attract people who treat them badly and people with high self-worth attract people who treat them very well for the most part. A lot of the time these negative comments that you receive are very specific and instead of declaring that your next negative comment is just generally offensive and that that person has issues, ask yourself the following question instead. Is this something that I believe or have ever believed about myself. A lot of the time it's very enlightening that people get negative comments that are actually a direct reflection to what you actually believe about yourself. Have you ever wondered why some people seem to get so much hatred and other people get very little? It can often be a reflection on what people are thinking about themselves. And I've had my own share of nasty comments left on blog posts, YouTube videos and social media posts. And I used to get really upset about it and feel like a victim. I would often dwell on the comments for days thinking, how could someone think that about me and that's so horrible? And then later on, I even strengthened my mindset and said, you know, it doesn't bother me, water off a duck's back, I'm strong, I can handle it, I'm, it doesn't faze me at all and just kind of brush it off and not give it a second thought. But looking back, almost all of the comments were things that I actually thought about myself. For example, I once got a negative comment that said, your gums are massive, your teeth are so disgusting and I'm sick of you always trying to push your products on me all of the time. And this one really hurt me at the time and I thought, how can she be so heartless as to criticise my appearance and things that I have no control over? 
But now that I look back with new eyes on the situation, I see that these are thoughts that I was thinking about myself at the time. I hated my teeth and gums and I was worried that I was being too salesy and too pushy when it came to my business. So this is a comment that reflected back thoughts that I had actually thought about myself and that's what makes them hurtful is that you're pushing these thoughts away and somebody else says them to you and then you blame them for the thoughts because but you've actually thought the thoughts in the first place. Another comment I got on a blog post was all about me sharing how drinking smoothies benefits your life and it was a really positive uplifting blog post and I would mentioned one of the benefits was that you have less washing up to do because um, you are drinking your meal and therefore you're not washing plates and um, this woman left a comment on my blog post and she said that I was obviously a very lazy person and obviously not a very good mother if I was making them smoothies and not making them um, sit down meals and that comment really hurt me um, at the time and I thought about it for days and days I think that was probably one of the most uh, one of the first negative comments that I ever had on my blog and um, now that I look back I was suffering from chronic fatigue syndrome and I can't remember if I was suffering from it at the, that particular time or whether it's something that happened previous to that but I do remember going through a phase where I didn't have the energy to look after my kids properly as I could barely move and I constantly felt guilty about it. I felt like a bad mother and I worried that people would see me as lazy. So this negative comment um, first originated from my own thoughts which I had suppressed and I'd not come to terms with it. I was still feeling guilty over not being a good mother even when I recovered I was still carrying guilt about that. So there are two different types of negative comments. Number one, this is the type of comment that really upsets you. The thought goes round and round in your head for days and you just can't shake it off. And the reason why this comment hung to you like a bad smell is because the thought is already there deep inside yourself. Finally, your negative thoughts have reared their ugly heads and you can start to deal with them. And this is actually a good thing, believe it or not. So we should actually be grateful for our hurtful comments because they awaken a part of us that we had hidden and that helps us to own our repressed thoughts so they stop hurting us. And these are the types of comments that you want to journal about and ask yourself if it is a thought that you have ever believed yourself. The second type of negative comment is the type that doesn't usually affect you at all, usually because it's not true at all or it just doesn't apply to you. And it seems like they have actually got the wrong person because it's blatantly not true. For example, say you got a comment that said, um, men with blonde hair really annoy me but you are a woman with brown hair and that blatantly isn't a comment that's aimed at you and this is a bit of a silly example because this is not going to happen but it's really all about how you feel when you get the comment if you are able to just shake it off and say doesn't apply to me and not give it another thought and not get all emotional about it then the comment is probably nothing to do with you or what you are projecting to the world like say for example you think about yourself, I really um, love my hair and somebody says, I'm not too keen on your hairstyle, it just wouldn't suit me, I prefer long hair rather than short hair and say for example you have short hair but you're very confident with your hair, you really like your hair and then you just think, well that doesn't, that doesn't bother me at all, I'm happy with my hair, she's got her own preferences, she prefers long hair, I've got short hair, no big issue and it just kind of goes right over your head and doesn't phase you at all. So those are not really speaking to you. They are not really about you. They're nothing that you have to process. That's just somebody stating their random opinion really. So nothing to worry about there. So here's what you can do to prevent yourself attracting haters in the first place. So for a start, you can start to redefine the words that you are using to describe negative comments. So instead of saying that you are attracting haters, why not stick to the facts that you have received three negative comments last month and it removes emotion and opinion from the situation which removes the amount of energy you are giving to the situation. 
When you keep affirming that you are attracting haters, you will attract even more haters because this is now your current reality and you're giving your power away. You are being the victim and you are not taking control over the situation and you're putting emotion into the negativity. If you stick to stating facts instead, you are not making anything true about your reality. It was just something that happened in the past and you don't expect it to happen again. Another thing that you can do to avoid attracting haters is to increase your self-worth and stop hating yourself. Decide that you are worthy of anything you desire, that you love yourself, you like yourself, and you don't have any hate for yourself at all. Whatever negative things you've been telling yourself and repressing, decide that you are going to own them instead and remove all emotion from these thoughts too. Say, for example, that you see yourself as a lazy person, you can turn it around and keep it more factual. So what are the facts in a situation when you think you're lazy? So why do you think you are lazy? What evidence do you have that you're lazy? How do you demonstrate being lazy? Is it a preference you have? Are you comparing yourself to someone else? So instead of describing yourself as lazy, why not say, that you love to have a work-life balance and you love nothing more than vegging out on the sofa, watching movies, that you're not the most active person in the world, but you do really enjoy relaxing. And stick to the facts and own them. Talk about them to other people and bring them to the forefront. If you own who you are, no one else will be able to make you feel bad about yourself again. Then every time you get a negative comment, if you feel emotional about it, journal about it and ask yourself what thought you repressed that might have attracted this comment and then turn your thoughts around again. Very soon you'll find that your emotional negative comments are reducing and people won't be able to make you feel bad about anything as you're owning all aspects of your own personality already. Here's how to rise high above imposter syndrome. So let me ask you something. Are you too scared about what other people think about you to really put yourself out there? If you answered yes, this is really going to help you. We are going to turn things on its head so you can see things in a totally different light. So are you worried that other people are going to think bad thoughts about you? Did you know that the main reason why people think badly of you and write negative comments is because they're actually envious of you? You have probably heard that before, that haters are envious of you and it is true that this is often the reason why they are leaving negative comments. You may have attracted some of the comments and that is your part of the energy, but what about the other person's energy? Why do some people have negative thoughts about some people and others don't? Why do some people leave negative thoughts on on content and other people don't? So if you think about it, they are reading your post in the first place. We're talking about the people who leave negative comments. So that means that they are interested in your content. And while they are consuming your content, they are picking up on your energy at the same time as feeling envious. They would never admit that they feel envious and it actually presents in the form of anger towards you. However, they aren't actually angry at you. They are actually angry at themselves. They are angry because they want what you have and they don't have it themselves. The reason they don't have what you have is because they think that you have a personality trait that they themselves actually do have but they have repressed, so they're not aware that they have this personality trait themselves. So the next time you see a negative comment, the reason from their side that they are leaving that comment is because they are actually inspired by you and they're envious of you. So while you are dealing with your own issues that have arisen from the negative comments, also know that at the same time you are inspiring people. So this should encourage you to share your message in spite of the fact that you are getting negative comments. It should be fuel for your fire. So say for example someone says you are flaunting your wealth in people's faces and it's just not fair for other people because they don't have any hope to ever achieve what you've achieved. 
And that is a sure sign that they are envious of you and they are actually inspired by you. It's just come out in the wrong way because they aren't aware of their own shadow side. Being envious of other people actually means that you desire what they have and you also have the skills to be able to do the same thing yourself. But those leaving negative comments would never be aware of that. But now you are aware of that. And now you know that whenever people are drawn to you, but also are annoyed by you at the same time, it's because you are actually inspiring them. So didn't you want to share your message to inspire people? Getting negative comments is actually a sign that you are inspiring people funnily enough. So there's another positive reason for being grateful for negative comments. Could it actually be possible to be grateful for negative comments? I believe that we can be grateful for everything in life as we can learn a lesson and grow from all perceived negative circumstances if we look hard enough. So next time you get a negative comment that triggers you, here are two reasons you can be grateful for it. Number one, you can be grateful for it because it's highlighted some of your own repressed thoughts that you can now bring to the surface and you can work through these issues and let go of them. And these are big blocks that are in the way of your success. And when you let go of them, you will see massive improvements in your business and in your life. Number two, Another reason you can be grateful for any negative comments is because it means that your marketing is actually working and you are reaching people with your message. You are inspiring people and provoking emotion within them, which is waking them up to things that they have to deal with themselves. You are helping them start their own journey of self-discovery. So how to respond to negative comments? Whenever you get a negative comment, your instinct is naturally going to be to react defensively. You will naturally feel angry and you might lash out at the person who's left a negative comment. But what I suggest you do is you don't respond to any negative comments for at least 24 hours until you've had time to calm down and do some journaling around it. When you've had time to calm down, you might be able to see things in a different light. One interesting way to respond to negative comments is to respond with gratitude. You could say, thank you for bringing that to my attention and really mean it. And then you could even go one step further and wish them well on their own journey to get the outcome that you have yourself. And if negative comments contain profanity or abuse, I simply delete it and sometimes report it and block that person. There is a big difference between a negative comment that causes you to stop and reflect on yourself and a negative comment that's actual abuse. And even if you don't engage with the other commenter, you can still journal about how the comment provoked emotion within you. We should see ourselves as worthy enough not to put up with abuse. After all, you control your own channels and you have the ability to delete comments that are abusive in nature. If someone leaves a comment on my channel that I would be upset if my kids read aged seven and nine, I delete the comment. And that's just me. I like to keep my comments and my content suitable for all ages. Sometimes I can hear my daughter's voice in my head saying, mommy, why would you allow someone to talk to you like that? Because that's how, what, that's one thing that I say to her. And if I hear that in my mind, I delete the comment. And although we can be grateful for any negative comments, you probably don't want to actually work with people who leave neg negative comments with you because they have a lot of work to do on themselves yet. And it's going to be such an uphill hill battle for them. And they're probably not ready to work with somebody like you. And they're not, they won't be ready to accept your help. But it does mean that your content is reaching people and helping them. Their envy of you is all part of their journey and the first step to them recognizing what they want to change in their own lives. So next time you are worried about what people will think about you, remember that you are much further along your path than most people and the majority of people will be inspired by you and learn from you. And those who are further along the path than you are will cheer you along because you don't get to be successful by tearing down everyone else along the way. And the, the people who are further along the path than you probably wouldn't 
number one, find your content and probably number two, wouldn't be attracted to your content. So usually you'll find people who are attracted to your content are on their own path, which is not quite on the same level as the stage of the path that you're on. And another thing is that most people are far too scared to put themselves out there. And if you're actually doing it, you are putting yourself out there and you've got the courage to do that. Why would you be scared what terrified people think of you? The way in which I approach haters is the same way that I approach all aspects of my business from a spiritual and balanced point of view. I also use manifestation and spiritual practices to get results for myself and my clients. And I am just curious, have you ever tried manifestation before and you couldn't get it working for you? Have you ever tried to manifest results for your business? A few years ago, I was fed up, overworked and business strategies and manifestation techniques just weren't working for me. After a lot of experimentation and some soul searching, I finally discovered where I'd been going wrong. And once I'd learned how manifestation actually works, I was able to feel confident to start a business that I'd been putting off for years and manifest the doubling of my business revenue on a passive business that had been static for a really long time. And I have shared my system for manifesting more revenue, more customers, more ease and flow while doing work that you adore working the number of hours that you choose all without hustling or striving in my signature course called Dream Business Manifestation. And in this course, I take you on a 30 day journey from manifesting being the person you want to be to manifesting your dream business and manifesting the money you desire to make. So you can learn more about that by going to kathkyle.com forward slash manifest. I'm also so excited to share my free masterclass with you called Double Your Revenue Masterclass. And if you tried all of the strategies to grow your revenue and it's still not increasing, this free masterclass will help you easily get to the next level. And I am sharing three extremely powerful manifestation techniques to help you manifest your first sale and double your revenue. And this free masterclass is part of my dream business manifest station course so grab it now free for a limited time only by going to kathkyle.com forward slash double and now it's your turn to go and put your stamp on the world